Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my PlayStation 4 collection. Now, it has increased since my last video, and yeah, let's get into it. So first up we have Final Fantasy XV. I've been seriously binging this game like crazy for the past few weeks since I've gotten the game. Um, right now I just went to a new to a new um a new area that kind of looks like Venice a little bit that very very reminiscent of Venice actually um but yeah that's where I'm at right now uh, I don't know how long I would have to be there I just got there yesterday yesterday in the afternoon so yeah it's a really really great game I know there's some people who don't really like it all that much but I think it's really 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 fun uh, Yakuza 0, really awesome game. I haven't finished it. I'm, I would say, halfway there. But, um, really, really, really great. And I should get back into this one and finish it. Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. I binged Yakuza 1 through 4. I had to watch a playthrough of 5 because it didn't release it physically here in the U.S., which kind of sucks. But I'm sure... Somewhere down the road, they'll be remaking Yakuza 5 for the PlayStation 4. And until then, I just have to wait. But I watched a playthrough of Yakuza 5 so I can understand what was going on in 6. And after I finished watching that playthrough, I started to play um, 6. It was really, really great. Really, really, really great game. Very rare that I really binge like games like that. Like Just play them one after the other. Uh, Mortal Kombat XL. Another awesome game. I... I bought X when I got the PlayStation 4, and I played that game religiously, so ironically it was the first uh, game that I got for the PlayStation 4. But yeah, really, really, really great game. I, I love MK. Next is Mortal Kombat 11. Really, really great game. I played through the story mode, and it seemed shorter to me. I I don't know. Like I finished it the same day that I got it. it, it it's weird because Mortal Kombat X, it had a pretty lengthy um story mode same thing with injustice 2 it seemed really lengthy but this one just seemed short i don't know if it was just me or i just got through it relatively fast but i i did finish the story mode relatively quickly but it's a really really awesome game though i, I love it really really fun just kind of sucks that i can't unlock anything because of the internet um tekken 7 this is the day one edition and it came with the DLC for Eliza. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it right there. So yeah, it came with the DLC for her. I I obviously of course redeemed it. It's it's a fun game. I like it. I haven't played it in a while though. I should get back to it though. Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, this one I haven't really played too much of, mainly because there were just a lot of other games that I wanted to finish, and I could always go back to like playing these games, but um. Like games that are like very like really story driven like Yakuza and Final Fantasy and stuff it just kind of like took up my time and I played very little of this I did practice of course before I actually really got into the game but yeah it's really really good I like it Injustice 2 Legendary Edition so this comes with all the DLC with the exception of certain skins for some of the characters it said it says five premiere skins and i think one of them was uh, i think vixen and cheetah uh, vixen for cheetah um uh i i don't really remember i think reverse flash was one of them but yeah there were there were a handful of them um so yeah really really great game uh street fighter 5 arcade edition this came with um both uh, seasons one and two, the pa the character passes for both seasons one and two, and yeah, it's it's fun. I like it. It's not a terrible game. I do enjoy it. I uh, what did I do? I did a lot of the um, uh, arcade modes where you like play as characters from the Street Fighter one, two, three, four. I did a handful of those, but it, it's a fun game. I like it. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, a really, really great compilation. And the big reason why I got this compilation was because of Street Fighter 3 New Generation and Second Impact. Never played those before. 
the other ones I have played. And I really, really, really want to give those a shot because that's really where they originated, like Dirt Strike originated and everything. And and I just really wanted to give them a shot and see what they were like, if they were fun or not. And they're really, really good. And this compilation is awesome as well. Really, really like it. Next is the King of Fighters 14. And I think this is the Steelbook Launch Edition. If I remember, I think that's what it's... I think that's the edition that it's called. But, yeah. Really, really great game. And surprisingly, it was still pretty pricey. I think I paid 30 plus bucks for, for my copy. But, yeah. Really, really awesome game. And it has a enormous roster when you first start playing the game so yeah really really great though next is spyro reignited trilogy i i didn't know at first that you needed to download like or you needed to update the game in order for you to play two and three because some of two and three were locked behind that whole update patch that they did which kind of sucked so i didn't really I didn't play this game until I finally updated it, and when I did, I absolutely binged the hell out of the game. I finished the first two. I haven't finished the third one, and I 100%ed both one and two, which took me some time, and it wasn't fun. Well, it, it was fun, but some of the bosses were just kind of anger-inducing. Mind you, I didn't really play Spyro like that when I was a kid. I had the games, and I loved them, but I never really played them, played them, if that makes any sense. So... This was the first time that I actually played played them. But yeah, really, really great though. God of War. I mean, uh, it's a really, really great game. I played the absolute hell out of this game and it was great. It, it still is. I haven't played this, haven't played it in a while, but I do go back to it from time to time. But, you know, Final Fantasy XV has consumed most of my time in terms of playing games. So, but yeah, it's a really fantastic game, and I actually did a second playthrough, New Game Plus. So, really, really great game, though. Next is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Gold Edition. So this version comes with Band Footage Volume 1 and 2, which include Bedroom, Nightmare, Ethan Must Die, Daughters, 21, and Jack's 55th Birthday. And it also comes with the at the time new expansion which was called end of zoe which you play as uh jack jack baker's brother um i, I think his name was joe and yeah i, I will say like, it, it's really really awesome end of zoe was fucking awesome um then you have the naughty hero which you could download for free though so I had to download that, and I did play all of the DLC as well as Not a Hero. Doom, really, really, really awesome game. I'm a big fan of Doom. I, I'm still relatively new to the Doom series because the first one that I played was Doom Three, and then I ended up getting BFG Edition, which had one Doom One and Two, and then it had you know three as well as the two like the one the add-on pack and Lost Mission. So I was able to play Doom One, Two, Three as well as the um added stuff for the for the third game but yeah this game is really really great um i know they're making a second part doom eternal i don't know if that game is out yet but if it is i really should get it because i've been wanting to play i played through this and finished it it was quite it took me a while to get through the through the entire game so it was great though i loved it carmageddon max damage um I never heard of this game until I looked up games that were similar to Twisted Metal, and this was one of the one of the games that um, I guess you can say was similar to Twisted Metal. But this was a very I think this was an early game. I don't know if this came out before Twisted Metal or after. But originally it came out like in the '90s, I think, and I actually played the original game. I actually have it on my phone. It was uh, free to download actually. And it's, it's not bad. It, it's very, very old looking, of course, obviously, because it was made in like the 90s. But it, it's actually a pretty fun game. And this one is too. I actually just recently finished the actual game. I needed maybe three to four more events. And after I did those, the game was done. So, yeah, it was really, really fun and I enjoyed it. 
And lastly is Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. Never played Geometry Wars before, but it seemed interesting. And the control scheme for this game is very similar to Robotron 2084, um, oh my god, what was the other one? Smash TV and Total Carnage. You use one analog stick to move the character around, you use the other to shoot in all directions. And it's really, really, really fun. The, the design on the cover kind of reminds me of the thing from Tempest. It's a really, really old um, Atari game. Really, really great, actually. Probably one of my favorite Atari games. But yeah, it's really, really, really fun. And I haven't really played this that much, which is kind of a shame because I should get back to this. So yeah, that is my entire collection of PlayStation 4 games. I don't have too many, but I will be getting more slowly but surely. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Most importantly, stay safe. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.